Welcome back to the channel. So hopefully you've seen part one to this build, but we're building a smokehouse. And this is just a simple wooden smokehouse. Really anyone could build it. It's fairly inexpensive, but it works awesome. Or at least I hope so. So this is gonna be part two. Stick with me, let's get it done. So on the last video, I was able to get the skeleton built. Basically the two by two skeleton. I was able to side it with the one by six uh, shiplap boards. I was able to put in these runners here. So what I have left to do is this doorway, figure out the doorway and a roof. And then hopefully, if, if I have time, I'm gonna try to smoke some salmon. So today's plan is to take, and I'm gonna cut a thin strip to put in here between that and then down here. So right down there, I'm gonna cut a thin strip to tack to there. That's what the hinges are gonna to attach to. Then the door will be attached to that. The door will come across and I'm gonna see if I can put a small piece here also so that the door kind of just hits this. So the door just hits this and catches and it can swing out and in, out and in. So I gotta cut a couple strips and then what I'm gonna do is basically cut that. I'm gonna tack that together and I'm gonna cut that to fit inside there. And then you'll see what I do on the back of the door. I'm gonna take two by twos and I'm gonna basically create a Z pattern. It'll go a board across and then angled and then across and then that should hold the door together and we'll see how it pans out but i'm pretty sure that'll hold everything together the way it should then we'll get the door in and then of course the roof what i'm going to do is take the remainder of these uh, shiplap boards and i'm going to cut them and make a roof and probably do a six inch overhang or so at the top All right, so I'm gonna cut the uh, 
two by twos for the door and I need two, one across the top, one across the bottom of 26 and a half inches. And then I will take and do a measurement. Once I have those pinned on, I'll do a measurement across at a diagonal and that will create the Z, um, hopefully giving it enough rigidity on the doorway, but we'll see. If, we, if not, we'll add some more. cut all these off to the proper length. I cut them long originally. So we need them at 63 and 3 quarter. Let's see what they're at. Oh, they are right. 63 and 3 quarter. Okay. We need to take an inch, about an inch and an eighth off of each side. Take it over to the table saw. Cut it. Not gonna be wide enough. A little tight. All right, so I'm putting extra screws in the door to secure everything from the front side now to the two by twos that I have on the back side. Then we're gonna get the hinges on the cabinet and hang the door. That's where we're at.
All right, you can see behind me, I'm almost done. I got the hinges on, the door handle on, and here, let's open it up. All right, so the door's on. That's what the inside of the door is looking like. So I told you I was going to do a Z pattern. There it is. It's bolted or it's screwed from this side and from the front side. See up there, I got the roof on, but I am going to, if you, let's see if I can, there's the roof. I'm probably going to put a piece of metal on top of there just to give it, uh, just to waterproof it. That's what I did on the last one I built. So I still need to drill some vent holes. So what I need to do down at the bottom, I'm going to drill some, uh, with a hole saw, I'm going to drill some holes for ventilation to have air coming in. And then at top of, I haven't decided whether I'm going to put a, a stack, like a chimney, or if I'm going to actually just drill some holes in the sides. And then that will be where the holes, uh, air goes out. So you have that constant flow of air in and out. I want to get to smoking and try to get some smoked fish done for you guys. Let's see where I get. I got to get this done fairly quickly. It's about uh, two degrees out this morning. There she is with the shelves in it. Let's see if I can back up enough for you guys to get a good view. So there we go. The shelves are in. Now I'm just going to put the burner down here. Well, I got to get a foundation for it, but then the burner goes down there and we're going to heat this thing up and <clears throat> we're going to season it a little bit. So the smoker's finished and ready for our salmon. I thawed some salmon last night and I need to make my brine. I like to do a dry brine. And this is uh, two cups of brown sugar to a, two cups of uh, salt. So it's one to one ratio of brown sugar to salt. And I keep a dry brine because I, it'll create its own moisture as it sits in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna layer the salmon, the brine, salmon, brine, salmon, brine, until all the salmon's covered. I've got right here, my wood chips. I like to soak, I'm using the smokehouse alder wood chips i just buy at the store and it's alder but i like to soak it in water and that kind of keeps it from burning as much uh the dry wood tends to burn if i if I, what i should do is go out and cut some green alder actual green fresh alder that we grow here in alaska but <clears throat> i'll get to that another day but for now i soak them so that it'll smoke more than it burns and then that's all ready to go so we just need to get the salmon out and get the brine in. Start getting brined. I used to smoke my salmon in whole fillets. And now I like to cut them into about one, one and a half inch thick strips. And uh, I think they brine better and smoke better that way. You get a better smoke all the way around the fish. So you want to put a little bit of this sprinkled around the bottom before you get your salmon in there. And then start laying your fish. We'll just keep doing that until all the fish is gone and it's all covered in the brine. Okay, I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge for 
overnight. I don't know. Uh, the longer you brine it, the saltier it's gonna be. I learned my lesson I, uh, on brining it too long because it get, can get extremely salty, but we're gonna set it in there overnight. Uh, so it's probably gonna be, I don't know, 16 hours or so. And when it comes out of the brine, uh, we'll rinse off the, the remainder of the brine and sugar and salt, and then let it set up to tack up. Okay, so here is the next morning and this the salmon's been brined. You see it created its own juices, just sucking the moisture out of the salmon. So now I'm gonna rinse it, dry it, and let it tack up. All right, so there's one rack of fish that I'm gonna let uh, set, and it'll take about 20 minutes to tack up. And once it tacks up, then I can add whatever seasonings I wanna to add to it and then stick it in the smoker. So this little thing right here is called the Amazing Smoker. It's amazing. <laughs> You're able to smoke uh, or generate smoke without generating any heat. And what it uses is I use these pellets, the wood pellets. And what I'm using here is alder. So basically, you see the hole right there, and there's a hole on this side also, and then it creates a maze. And you fill these wood pellets in here. All you want to do is just make sure that none of the wood pellets are above the maze barrier because you want the flame once you start and it starts smoldering you want it to smolder around and not be able to jump over all right that's about it then I'll, so it's filled in all the maze and you've got these ridges here and so it has to follow and then I'll take a torch and I'll light it here and I'll take a torch and light it here and get it burning real good and then I blow the flame out and let the ember or the coal just work its way around and it works from both sides and it's just amazing. I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna light the torch here. I'm just gonna smoke it, stick it right in the hole and get this burning. That side burning, and get this side burning. So the idea is to get those burning like that, and then once they get a good coal, I'll blow them out and they'll just smoke. Look how good that's smoking. And that's gonna work its way around that maze, and it's it'll burn for I don't know, two hours or more. So let's let that smoke up the cabinet and we'll get the fish put in here. Okay, so the fish is here. It's been sitting for a while. It's got a good tack on it. Now I'm gonna put some seasonings on these. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little brown sugar on some. I'm gonna do a little uh, cayenne pepper on some. And then um, probably just a little bit of pepper, black pepper. A little brown sugar on top of some of them. This brown sugar basically will melt onto the salmon and create a kind of a sweeter flavor. Mm. Real good. Oh.
windy out today. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Smoke machine's creating the smoke. The amazing smoker. It's amazing how much smoke that will put off. I got a cast iron skillet. And then we'll put chips in that after we start up the fire. And I have a diffuser plate on top of my flame. And the diffuser plate keeps the flame from directly contacting the cast iron skillet and burning the chips before they smoke. We'll let that sit and smoke for a bit. Oh yeah, looking good, looking real good. Get some chips put in this, get the heat going. see where we're going with the heat. Temperature's not even reading right now, so. Our goal is to get it up to about right in there. I think we'll go to 150. Try it right there. All right, let's see how this is doing. Ooh, very smoky. Looking good. Gonna pop this out. I'm gonna go do some seasonings. Okay, so we're gonna brush maple syrup on these, just like that. Man, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, good stuff. All right, let's go check out on the, the salmon. I think it's done. It's been out cooking for a couple hours and Let's check it out. You can see down there, it's almost smoked out. We've got a little bit longer to go. The wood chips in there, all smoked out. And this is looking pretty good. Oh yeah, that's done. Nice. 
Very, very nice. All right. I personally think the only way to go is to build a wooden smoker. The wood absorbs the smoke, it gets seasoned, and oh, it's just amazing. But if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I encourage you, get out there, build a smoker, and try to smoke some meat. It's an excellent way to cook. Thanks, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.